I had a customer ask me how to do a line on a map using this title. So it's a very quick tutorial just to show you how to do that. So I'm inside of Edius, I'm going to start off this title and it opens up the regular this title interface. And the first thing I've got to do is add in a map. So I'm going to come up to here where I've got the add image icon, click on that and then draw out a box, which is where the image is going to go. So, so far I've just put in a box, no image at all. If I come over to the sidebar here, click on browse and then choose the map. Now my particular map has come from a website called OpenStreetMap. It's a bit like Google Maps except that you're allowed to use the stuff for free as long as you credit them. This is showing the area around the office so I'm just going to draw a little line coming in and showing you the best way to park outside of the office. First thing I want to do is down here next to where I brought the image in I'm just going to click on origin and that's going to put the image to whatever the native size is. Now my particular image happens to be slightly smaller than high definition. If it had a bigger image which is bigger than high definition then it would no longer be filling the screen and I'd be seeing just a part of it. And I'm going to grab the corner and drag it out and make it fill the screen. Now you notice as I'm dragging it's not constraining proportions so I'm going to hold down on shift to constrain the proportions and drag it out. So now the map fills the screen. Now I want to put a line on here which just follows the road down and into the office. And to do that I'm going to use a plugin. So you come up to the plugin icon, click on it, and I'm going to use this thing called 2D Stroke Animation. And it opens up this interface, which is fairly simple. You basically draw a line and then having drawn the line, this title will draw that in for you. Now for a start I can't see the map, it's just come up with a blank space. I'm going to come down here and click on this icon which will put the map in the picture, so at least I know what I'm drawing. Next thing I want to do is I want to draw a path. There's two ways of drawing a line. You either use the hand drawing icon, in which case you just wiggle your mouse around and it follows that, or you use the Bezier option that lets you specify points, and I'm going to use that one. Then I'm going to come to my picture and just click at where I wanted to start, and then move it along and click in a couple of places. So we're going to come down this line, round the corner, up here, up here, down there and then you've got to drive through here and then there's our office. So I've now drawn a line showing the path that I want to follow. Now I just clicked so I've created sharp edges. If I wanted to create a smooth edge then I would click and drag and it would create a smooth edge. But I didn't, I just clicked. Now I've created far too many points there so I'm just going to select the ones I don't want, right click and say delete to get rid of the points and now I'm back to my original path. I'd like it to be slightly more curvy in some places, like the join down here could be a bit better. So I'm going to select this point, right click and say smooth. And it turns it from a sharp join to a curvy join. And it gives me some busier handles so I can just move it around a bit and give it a more curvy path. Let's do the same thing for the one at the corner. Right click, smooth, and then let's just try and make that a bit more sensible. So it's now doing more what I want it to do. And obviously you can go through and fiddle with all these points and make them curvy points if you want to. But now I've got a line. If I press the play button down here, you can see what happens immediately. It draws the line. Whee! The obvious stuff, you know, what kind of colour it is. Over here, you just click on this and choose a colour. How thick it is. How fine it is. You notice there that I'm changing the fineness. It goes from being one thick, thick line to a whole bunch of dots. Feather it, give it a fuzzy edge. And then opacity determines how solid it is. Then you've got two blending modes, cover and overlap, which produce slightly different results. But there you are, as you can see, I've now got a line, draws it out, shows you how to get to the office. I'm gonna click on OK, save as animation, and there we are, I've got my line in Edius. Now a couple of things I might like to change there. For a start, when it gets to the end of the animation, it doesn't give you any time, it doesn't pause at the end, it just disappears. It would be quite nice to pause at the end. So I'm going to go back in and change that. So let's just double click on it, get back into the full Viz title interface, go to the 2D stroke animation line, which has been added to the timeline, right click on it and choose Edit. That gets me back into the place where I define the line. And for a start, what I wanted to do is I wanted to do this same path, but I wanted to hang around a bit at the end. 
Now you notice there's a couple of sliders here. One says start, one says end, and one says stay time. Let's put the cursor right at the end and then fiddle with the end button. And you can see what's happening there is it says changing the end position means it never actually gets to the end of the line I've drawn. It only gets so far. Changing the start position means when we start the line, let's move back to the front of the timeline. So I'm right at the start. Changing the start position means that it actually starts halfway around the line. As opposed to starting right at the top, it's starting there. Now I don't want to do that, I want it to go through the whole thing. So, you know, right at the start, naught, right at the end, 100. But what I do want it to do is I want it to hang around at the end. So about when it gets to there, I want it to have finished and just see everything on screen. And that's what this does, stay time. If you move that around, if you put it on 100%, that means it's there all the time. If you put it on 50%, that means half the animation is taken getting to the final point and the rest of it just sits there. So you see, just by adjusting this, either use the slider or drag across the numbers, how long the line hangs around when you get to the end. Let's just move that down a bit to, say, about 36% of the animation. Just gives you enough time to take it in. And that's it, really. Drawn a line on a map. Other things worth mentioning are this second tab that I've got at the top. So the first is the, the stroke line. The second it says is insert tracing logo. What's that all about? Basically, it means sticking something at the end of the lines. Easiest way is just to show you. I'm going to click on that tick box, click on browse, and choose a car. There we are. I have now got a car which drives along the line. That would be fine if the car was facing the right direction. I might need to turn that round. Let's just try rotating it. And I want to make sure it's right on the center, so I'm going to grab this little dot and move it up and down. But yeah, that's about right. Maybe I want the very front of the car to be at the front of the line, so let's just move that there and then play it, which is fine. Apart from this bit where the car's upside down, it'd be nice if the car was the other way up here. But basically to do that, I'd have to choose another picture, which has a car facing in a different direction, which I don't happen to have here. So I probably have to make one. All these pictures are just PNG files, you'd notice here. And you can actually bring in all sorts of different types of files. And if you've got a transparent background, it'll keep the transparent background. Now you might notice my car here twirls down the line and then it follows it. You know, every time you turn a corner, the, the car goes with it. That's down to this little tick box here. If that's not ticked, then the car doesn't turn around with the line. And if it is ticked, then the car does turn around with the line. And why would you not want it to turn with the line? Well, maybe you're going to do something like choose a pen. And the pen should probably stay the same all the time. Anyway, let's go back to the car. Another nice little logo thing is they have got a whole bunch of arrows. So let's stick an arrow in. Let's just rotate that. Let's move it up so it's more centered. You notice as I'm moving that dot around, it's centering it on the, the line there. And there we are. I've now got an arrow driving along. I can sense no end of Dad's Army title sequence parodies suddenly coming along with all these arrows. I'm going to get out of this. Go back to Edius. Job done. Yeah, I wish it lasted a bit longer. Go into Minivis title. Decide where you want it to finish. Click on this button. Save. Drag it out. It then takes longer. Just out of interest, this here is showing you how to get to our offices of an old business centre. I'm imagining you're coming in from the London Road. So you've come off of the A27. You come down this road. You turn onto this road, which is the A270. There's the business center, but the best way to come in and park is to come along here, turn up Stapley Road, turn along Bellingham Crescent, and here you'll see some great big purple gates, which is the business center. Come through there, and then when you get to here, you'll see a big building with an arch. Go underneath the arch, and we're here. We do have people that can't find us and find the best place to park, which is in fact right there where that arrow is. So there you are, just a very quick tutorial about doing a stroke animation inside of Edius. There are lots of other ways you can use the stroke animation. We might cover those in other tutorials.